Hello friends, today we will see dynamic quiz in MVC3 Razor. We have developed a quiz application wherein user can log into the application and appear for a quiz. The application has a register and login facility. Uh, the, the user can register for the application and they can use the login credentials and can appear for the quiz. We have two types of users, admin and non-admin users. We have created two types of users while registering that is that the user can be an admin user or uh, can be a normal user. And the privileges provided for admin user and the normal users are different. Logged in user can select the quiz category and question type. We have several categories for the quiz and also for the question type. Uh, quiz categories like sports, technology, general knowledge, etc. And question type is single choice and multi choice. These are the two categories or question types which are supporting currently. Uh, result is displayed after all the questions are answered by the user. When the user answers, answers all the questions, the result is displayed to the user. How many questions you have appeared, how many you have answered correctly, and how many you have answered not correctly. The questions are created by the admin user. This is the difference between the admin user and the non-admin user or the normal user. The admin user can create a question. Or the admin user can also create questions in bulk using bulk upload functionality. Now suppose you have to upload or you have to add 30 questions now. Adding the 30 questions one by one is a tedious task. So we have implemented a bulk upload functionality wherein the Excel is provided to the user by download and the user can download, admin user can download the download the Excel, can enter all the question details inside that Excel file and can upload the same Excel file. And all the question details and the number of questions will be added instantly. Now let's see through the application how it goes. Now this links redirect us to the register form wherein the user can register for the application. This is the forgot password. By chance, if you forget the password, you can click on this link, provide your email address, and the password will be sent to your email address. Now let's log into the application. So now this is my first page wherein you can see add a question, add question, bulk upload questions and this is a category selection drop down where you can select the category. This is the question choice where you can select you want single choice question or multiple choice question and this is the bulk upload question link. Now this add question link and the bulk upload question link is visible only to the admin users because only admin users can upload questions or add questions and currently the logged in user is uh, the admin user so we are able to see these two links now let's see how to add a question now this is the add question form uh, you can see the note enter answer option separated by comma we will get to this uh, in few minutes now let's add a question and uh, we will add a question on technology so we will say So I'm adding a simple question, H1 tag is associated with which language. So I select it as coding. I'll choose coding for this. I'll say it's a single choice question and my options will be HTML, C, SQL, Java. And here's now there's a note enter answer option separated by comma. It is for this. When you add an answer option, you have to separate each answer option by a comma. Now there's a button provided which says fill answers, which fills this answer drop down. So when you click on it, the answer drop down is filled with the, the answer options. Now here you select which is the correct answer option. So HTML is my correct answer option. And selecting it, I'll submit the form. Now this adds a, a question to the database. Now when the user on a normal user selects a category coding and when he selects I want to go for a single choice question and when he starts a quiz he sees the question. So now if you click on save answers without answering or without selecting any option it's, it gives you a validation option validation error that are not, not all questions were answered. So this is the basic validation we have implemented for answer form. Now let's answer it and see. Now my correct answer is HTML. Now when I save the answers, 
it gets to my result page where it shows you have answered single question and that that too you answer it correctly now let's go back to the quiz now this is how you can add a question in this application and how you can or a normal user can appear for the quiz now let's go to the bulk upload question functionality now in this form we are providing the user with the excel and also upload functionality wherein user can upload an excel with questions now on clicking on this image you can download the excel intended action now let's uh, get this excel file i copy this this to my desktop so while uploading it will be easy now let's open this excel file now i'll i'll add four to five questions my answer options will be even even comma c even comma d even suppose i give these options and my correct answer is even for this even for this c even for this d even for fourth question and even again for fifth question now for the category i have created a drop down inside the excel and here you can choose the category now suppose i choose it as a uh, business category and we also have a drop down for question type category where you can choose whether it's a single choice or multiple choice so i choose it as single choice so i save the excel now i have actually is ready for upload Let's click on it, open it, and cross-check it again. Yeah, my answers or my details are intact. Now I go to the application. I select choose file, and I upload this file. It shows message Excel file uploaded successfully. Now I go back to the quiz again. I select my category, the uh, category as uh, general. What we selected in Excel, I think we selected general. Uh, I selected business, so I select the categories as category as business, and were I were, and my question type was single choice. Now I say start the quiz. Now you can see the questions which we have added are all here. So we have added five questions, and we are able to see all the five questions. So this is how. on the bulk from bulk upload functionality works so this is all about dynamic quiz uh, and we are working on to support more question types and that is mixed question types and descriptive question types and also a report for the results and we'll be publishing that soon thank you friends